This is the book of Psalm 119 and 32, and it reads, I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart, which is your mind. I'll read the NLT version as well. I will pursue your commands for you expand my understanding. Verse 33, teach me, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. NLT, teach me your decrees, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, I will keep them to the end. Verse 34, give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yeah, I shall observe it with my whole heart to love our power with all our mind, soul, okay, strength, and to love our neighbors as ourselves, preferably those that are of the household of faith, preferably those that have been cleaving through faith unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And we have kept the law. All right. Fulfilled the law through the love we have for Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Nothing else can enter in. Nothing else can move us. We are rooted and grounded in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right. Even by the shaking of this societal collapse and all that is to come, we will not be moved. Verse 34 in LT. Give me understanding. and I will obey your instructions. I will put them into practice with all my heart, with all your mind. Verse 35, make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. NLT, make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Woo! Yahweh, Bashim al Shai. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 12. Wisdom is glorious, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. We follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. And is as a woman for a, a woman's beauty changed the man's countenance. And man loveth nothing better. And woman is a help unto man and a pillar of rest. So how much more wisdom that maketh a man's face to shine. We shall call her our sister and kinswoman, as it tells you in another place. As, as a man married of a virgin. We are been joined. We have been joined and married unto wisdom. We love wisdom. We hold her tightly as if it was our woman and our seed to be holding her. And I have uh, the uh, audio from Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, uh, the novel. I always want you to enjoy it. But let's read Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 12. We're going to get into this lesson. It says, wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yeah, she is easily seen of them that love her, woo, and found of such a seeker, woo. So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, in whom the world is ignorantly called Jehovah, or Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians. To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings, giving double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, that house of David. To you brothers out there fighting this good fight of faith, keep it up. To you sisters doing that which is becoming of women, shalom. And to those that are addicted unto this ministry, I say shalom, Lord's willingness is edifying lesson. And Lord's willing, I call this lesson. To be quickly without care. All right, give it all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the true name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Now, these are the two most important things you will ever know that you have been taught. That's why we give double honors unto our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who have taught us this truth. And the two most important things we will ever and could ever know the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Their true and proper names in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, our language, to call upon them in these last and troubling days and be saved and be preserved from the evils. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah, meaning He, Hawa, meaning exists or is or is to be. He is, He exists. He, the existing one, for He is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks Him. 
and in the name of his only begotten son, a name that is above every name given amongst men here on earth to the Israelite man first and also to the believers consisting of women, children, helps of the prophets and those that have faith, even the men of Israel, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And those of our seeds scattered among the nations that may look different, but hear this word and it resonates with your spirit. I say, Shalom unto you. The name of the Father is Yahweh. Call upon that name. For it is, it is a remembrance of our true selves. For he is our God, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his only begotten son, our Savior, who is to be uh, uh, unto us a propitiation and atonement so that the anger of the Lord will be subsided from us, beginning with the hopeful elect, that house of David, even our Savior that shall return at the end of this world, the end of this age, and deliver us. Even Yahawashai, Yah, meaning he, Yahawashai, meaning deliverer and Savior, for that is exactly what he will come and do for the second time in physical form, yet as an angelic force, for we shall see him as he is, and we shall be like him. All right? So now that you have the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, call upon those names and you will see the power thereof. So Lord's willing, this is an edifying lesson. The Lord's willing, as I said, call this lesson to be quickly without care. And I get it from the scripture that we're going to read. And Lord's willing, this is edifying. I was just, you know, I had another lesson in mind, but hey, through the Spirit, we have to be quickly without care. We We cannot be moved. When all things happen and everybody else is bugging out and and, 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, uncertain, we're going to be calm and collected, having wisdom and knowledge to be the stability of our times. And at times, you know, brothers, we get a little antsy and, and anxious, but just quiet your mind and go into prayer and speak unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and he will give you that comfort and will uh, uh, answer you and will make a way out of no way. So praise ye Yahweh by Shemel Shai, because, you know, the woman is is the weaker vessel and women are known to be fickle and fidgety but men have to be stern and and stable i right? like the earth like a rock like a tree dug in to the ground rooted okay we have to be that in all aspects even in times where we're kind of shaky we must collect ourselves and quiet our mind and go into that realm where Yahweh Mashai is for he is everywhere and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks him and we must speak unto our power and he will give us a way and guide us to life everlasting. So with that, let's get into Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 13. She prevented them that desire her in making herself first known unto them. It just as uh, David was on his way to, to take out the ball in his whole house, who stopped him along the way? Abigail and kept him from doing what he wanted to do in his own spirit. And that's what wisdom does. She meets us in every thought and stops us from doing certain things or, or, you know, going in our own mind and just drifting. That's why I said, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. And also, um, uh, acknowledge the Lord in, in all thy ways, uh, in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Lean not unto thine own understanding because you can easily slip into your own understanding. But that's where, uh, the power of prayer and faith comes into play and has its most uh, uh, alluring power. <sighs> but it's all a gift from Yahweh Shemeshah ultimately. It says, she prevented them that desire her in making herself first known unto them. Verse 14, whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors, which means at your mind. All right, it's always there. Wisdom is always there sitting at the doors of your mind. That's why the Lord said he's going to knock and, and come in and sup with you. All right. And I had to even uh, uh, relay that in my mind even earlier today. And praise you, Yahweh, by Shemashai for it. All right. Because we are still in this flesh, but hey, the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak, but the spirit is going to overpower the flesh. All right. Especially those that are are fighting this good fight of faith and are trusting and cleaving unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. And it reads on, it says, Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors, at the doors of your mind. To think there upon her is perfection of wisdom, and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. That's the point. 
but she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her. Showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. There it is. Verse 17, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and we have become disciples of the Lord, students, servants, followers, following the Lamb with us, so ever he goeth, not going in our own mind, not being captivated or taken by this world, even though there's many problems and problems all the time. We seek Yahweh Bashim Mashai and his guidance and his discipline, and he leads us upon the path that is most favorable unto us. It says, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. The keeping of the law, the commands, uh, worshiping the Lord, thy power with all thy might, soul, mind. Don't have your mind on the things of this world too much, even though they're there. They're, they're at the back of your mind, as they would say, but at the front of your mind is wisdom. Yahweh Mashai first and foremost, and he will give you the way that you must take. Praise you the Lord. It says, in love, is the keeping of her laws and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Woo! Verse 19. And that's going to really come into play when they uh, implement this RFID. Okay? Because it's going to seem like the only way, but it's not the only way. It's only one way and the worst way, the broad way, which leads to destruction. We're going to go to the narrow way, which few men ever find, but it is the way of the Lord. Okay? Be not, uh, uh, move not in haste and be not, you know, uh, uh, pretty much move when they're changed to a lower state. All right. Let me get that real quick. Well, actually, I'm going to get it anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to get it anyway. But, uh, you know, I just quoted it. All right. If you're changed to a lower state, hey, be cheerful. Yeah, there you go. Be cheerful when they are changed to a lower state because the Lord is going to make you great. As he did our forefather, Joseph, when he was in that prison two years, he had to bear it. But through that, he was eventually exalted to the scepter of that kingdom to tear Pharaoh his dream. Because if he was never cast into that prison, he would have never told the baker and the, the cupbearer their dreams. The baker being uh, hung like three days later and that uh, cupbearer was going, going to be restored into his place so that he may be at the side of the Pharaoh. And then when the Pharaoh had the dream, and was looking for a man of great honor to interpret the dream that that uh, the cupbearer remembered. Like, oh, yeah, man, may, may I be forgiven, but man, I'm, I'm tripping. Oh, yeah, there was a dude with me in the prison. And there you go. See, everything was set up. But we have to just wait. It says, an incorruption maketh us near unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, because the Lord is purging us, driving out the dross to make us fine gold, silver, and precious stones, things that are not destroyed by fire, but purified by them. All right. All right. It says, therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. There you go. Verse 21. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. We know wisdom is Yahweh Shai. So honor Yahweh Shai so that you may reign forevermore. Now let's go to the book of Ephesians 4. We'll start at six. Well, really, we'll start at one. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you, which is means uh, uh, beg you, that ye walk worthy of the vocation, which is a calling wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, for bearing one another in love. Woo! Barakatha Yahweh endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Ooh, man, there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one power and father of all, Yahweh, who is above all and through all and in you all. Ooh, that's it. Quickly without care, because wisdom is with us and we've become disciples and we're cleaving unto the Lord and the, the, the incorruption that's being driven out of us is going to make us or the, the corruption in us is being driven out to make us uh, uh, be uh, able to bear the incorruptible. All right, putting off the corruptible to bear the incorruptible, the immortal, to putting off the mortal to put on the immortal is making us closer to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. 
But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Mashiach. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. He freed us first in our mind through the truth, and he will soon free us from this bondage and from these bodies, these chains of darkness. Our Lord have given us gifts, even faith and other gifts as prophecy and, and other things else. All right. But ultimately prophecy to see what is to come, to look for the Lord, to be on our watchtower. To be solid, stable, unmovable. For that. And gave gifts unto men. Now I want to. Oh, Sirach 2. Let's go to Sirach 2. And I'm going to play this, this audio. Oh, yeah. All right. Not bad. Perfect timing. Let me get to Sirach 2. Sirach 2. We'll start at the top. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, your mind, and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Is everybody going to be yelling? Your children going to be crying. The woman, oh, I don't know what to do. What are we going to do? You just have to shut everything down. Shh. We're not going to worry about anything right now. This is a happy moment. We're going to be happy in the Lord. All right? Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Verse four, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Be patient, which is to suffer when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Bashi wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. So I'm going to play this audio, and uh, we're going to end it in 2nd Edges 2, going into our children and us having abundance and those other people being in trouble, but we being uh, just fine through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh, the Father, and Yahweh Shai, his only begotten Son. So Shalom, enjoy this this audio. It goes in because, you know, there's a whole lot going on, but hey, it doesn't matter. All right, because we're going to have to be expelled from this society. And hey, we, we may be uh, uh, in the mouths of many uh, 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 scandal uh, uh, people that want us in scandals. But hey, the Lord is going to keep us from the slanderous tongue and all things else. The power of the sword from the famine, from the beasts, all these things. But we must trust in Yahweh Bashimashai. And those that have wisdom will be quickly without care. Shalom. Enjoy the audio. Us? She reached for him, and he came to meet her hand. Rising tears burned her eyes, and her lip trembled. I'm Annie. I'm pregnant. She watched him as everything their child would mean cycled through his mind, and her heart caught when she saw first of all the wild, almost explosive joy that dawned over his face, because that meant that whatever he had gone through on the outer rim, he was still her Annie. It meant that the war that had scarred his face had not scarred his spirit. And she watched that joy fade as he began to understand that their marriage could not stay hidden much longer. That even the voluminous robe she wore could not conceal a pregnancy forever. That he would be cast out in disgrace from the Jedi Order. That she would be relieved of her post and recalled to Naboo. That the very celebrity that had made him so important to the war would turn against them both, making them the freshest possible meat for an entire galaxy full of scandal mongers. And she watched him decide that he didn't care. That is. That's the point that he didn't care. She watched him. I right, watched his face change like, I don't give a goddamn. Like, you know, who gives it? Yeah, because we're fighting a war. All right. But then all that is going to slip away and we're going to be made the damn enemies of, 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 of the world, of everybody. We're going to be hated. But yet we don't care. We don't give a shit. Because Yahweh Bashim Ashai is for us and he's going to defend us. All right, but you know our women and people that know us, oh, they all worried. Don't worry. 
Yahweh Bashar Ben Shai has us. It is written that we're going to win, not them. All right? Shalom. Enjoy the, the rest of the audio. He said slowly, that wild spark returning to his eyes. Wonderful. Padme, that's wonderful. How long have you known? She shook her head. What are we going to do? We're going to be happy. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to be together, all three of us. But, no. He laid a gentle finger on her lips, smiling down at her. No buts. No worries. You worry too much as it is. I have to, she said, smiling through the tears in her eyes. Because you never worry at all. <laughs> and I like that at the end they said, because you never worry at all. Hey, that's, that's brothers. We really don't worry about nothing, really. You know, our women get all fidget. <laughs> we don't worry at all because everything is in the hands of Yahweh Vashem Mashiach, including us. We're in his custody. Oh, real quick. Bear with me real quick. I have um, a, a brother posted something earlier about the, the hand of the Lord and, and what it goes into. But let me get it real quick. Bear with me. All right, Shalom Amakim, I'm back. Uh, you know, this is left by a beautiful brother in our camp, Ayah, which means uh, I in the Hebrew, our language. But uh, he left the scripture, Isaiah 43, 13. Yeah, before the day was, I am he. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. Now, when the Lord is, is, is sending out judgment, nobody can be delivered out of his hands. But what did Yahweh Shai say? Yahweh Shai said that those that be in uh, the Father's hand, those that have been given him are in the father's hand and no man could pluck them out of the father's hand. So we're in the best place we could ever be. It says, I will work and who shall let it? Isaiah 43, 13. It said the Hebrew word for hand is yad. As we know, one of the figurative definitions says custody. We're in the custody of the Lord. Hey, didn't Paul say that? I'm a prisoner of the Lord. We're in his custody. Now let's go into these uh, different words. Now is H. 3,027 yad, which is hand. It says the open one indicating power means direction. So the Lord is directing us. He knows what, what we need. We're in his power. In, the, in distinction is the Lord's hand that we are within. Not in this world, not in the grip of these people, but in the hand of the Lord. The closed one. It says use as a noun, adverb, etc., and a great variety of applications, both literally, literally, literally and figuratively, both proximates and remote as follows to be able. The Lord is able and he's about to do what others are not expecting. All right. As the armholes, an axle tree, besides the border, we're within. All right. The Lord, the bounty. You know, the Lord is, is, is everywhere. We're at his charge. OK. It says custody, force, terror, ordinance, demean, strength, power. And the angels are no joke because the Lord has us surrounded by the angels. But let's let's get into it. It says a ministry. Oh, see, we're in the ministry with we're within like the, the Apostle Gabar says in this thing of ours. Right. It's not for everybody. It says work yield. Right. Presumptuously service. All right. It is a terror to fall away from this thing, and it is a terror to go against this thing. It says, uh, we, we have made an oath. That's what swear is right there, a stroke. And we're being beaten. All right. Uh, uh, the rod and staff of the Lord is comforting us. We're the sheep. If we stray off, we're getting hit back in the right direction. All right. Uh, <laughs> Satan to buffet me, as Paul said. So if need be, we got to get rebuked. We get hit. But we're in yet the hand of the Lord, the custody, the debt. Of, we're indebted to the Lord, the dominion of the Lord. We're in the fellowship with the Lord. All right. We're the workers of the Lord. We're in the labor of the Lord. All right. The Lord has given us to his creditor, which is Mashiach. Okay. So that's what it is, man. And that's what the brother posted. Custody, force, terror, ordinance, dominion, strength, power. We're in the... Uh, uh, the hands of the angels as well that the Lord has uh, uh, put around us. Brothers have their personal angels and then we have the angels around about us constantly watching us. All right. We have bands of angels constantly following us and with us. 
All right. Now let's read on down and we're going to close out Ecclesiastes 2 and 10. This is why I want to uh, uh, end it in this chapter. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? That's the, that's the, that's the question. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Mashiach, is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. Psalm 119, 36, incline my heart unto thy testimonies, which is the prophecies. The testimony of Mashiach is the spirit of prophecy. We know that the Lord is going to save us. We know this. We trust in it and we hold on to it. It says, incline my heart, which is your mind, unto thy testimonies. And not to covetousness, not to this world, not to whatever is offering. It says, give me an eagerness for your laws rather than a love for money. Yeah, because a lot of people are going to be driven by that to go back into this world and take the RFID. But we, we're going to go the other direction. Now let's go to the book of Second Edris 2, and we're going to end it there for uh, to leave hope in the minds of you believers, especially you women, that everything's going to be fine. Your children. Our children are going to be fine. You're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. All right. Like, like my man uh, in the clip, Anakin says, we're not going to worry about anything right now. We're going to be happy. That's what we're going to do. She said, what are we going to do? We're going to be happy. That's what we're going to do. All three of us, because he's talking about the baby, not knowing that he had twins, but he's talking about her, him and the, and the baby. And he says, uh, he's like, uh, you worry, <laughs> you worry too much. And she's like, I, I have to. He said, you don't worry at all. And that's the spirit because we're quickly without care. All right. It says, as for the servants whom I have given thee, the elect, there shall not one of them perish. For I will require them from among thy number, whether they be in the spirit realm or on the earth. The Lord is requiring that number. The 144,000 is named, right? The actual number of them, 12,000 men out of each tribe that is going to know the song. But you have a one third consisting of women, children, helps of the prophets and believers. And that number is not known, but is many people. And that number is known among the Lord. That's what the Lord requires. And none shall be lost. Be not weary. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shall be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee. Saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim al Shai, my hands shall cover thee. Hey, we're in the Lord's custody. We're in his hand. Right? The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. I had to read that one more time just to put it in your mind. My hands shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. Hell is the grave. Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children. Those of you that are going to be uh, uh, pregnant, have babies, or a, a great with child right now, or already have children and going to only have more children. Be joyful. O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith the Lord. Remember thy children that sleep. We got to remember our brothers and those that believe that have passed on, that have passed on, and uh, they're going to come back at that moment. It says, remember thy children that sleep, for I will, for I shall bring them out of the sides of the earth and show mercy unto them. For I am merciful, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashemashai Almighty. So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Raka Kadash, which is the Holy Spirit by whom we do function, double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, that house of David, to you brothers out there fighting this good fight of faith, keep it up. To you sisters doing that which is becoming a woman, shalom to those that are addicted unto this ministry. I say shalom, those only you have been edified until the next time I say shalom. On to the next one. Shalom.